Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an introduction to solving absolute value equations. We will go through three examples. Now remember, the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. So for a quick review, the absolute value of five is five. So if we take a look at five on the number line down here, the distance from zero is five units. The absolute value of negative five is five as well. And taking a look at the number line, here's negative five. The distance from zero is also five units for negative five. Keep in mind, the absolute value of a negative is always going to be positive. It's the distance from zero. So the absolute value of positive five and negative five is five. Now going off of this, let's jump into number one where we have the absolute value of x equals three. Now the first thing that we want to do is make sure the absolute value is isolated on one side of the equation. If it's not, we need to start there. In this intro video, all of the absolute values will be isolated, so we won't need to worry about this. This is something we will take a look at after this intro video. Now, as far as the absolute value of x, it needs to equal three. Well, we have two possibilities here, two solutions. The absolute value of positive three equals three, and the absolute value of negative three equals three. Both of those work. So imagine having three or negative three here for x. Both of those are solutions. They both equal three. The absolute value of three and the absolute value of negative three equal three. So when we have an absolute value equation, we write two equations, one that is equal to a positive and one that is equal to a negative. This is going to give us two solutions. Now there are situations where we will get one solution or no solution. I'll cover those in another video after this intro. So for number one, x equals three or x equals negative three. Now we can always check our solutions by plugging them in for the variable. So for example, let's come to the side here. We have the absolute value of three equals three or the absolute value of negative three equals three. Well, the absolute value of three is three and then the absolute value of negative three is three. So we do have the correct solutions here. Let's move on to number two and build off of this. Taking a look at number two, we have the absolute value of m plus five equals nine. Now our absolute value is isolated here, so we can move on to writing two equations. Now this absolute value equals nine, so we know that m plus five needs to equal positive nine or negative nine, the absolute value of nine or negative nine equals nine. So we need two equations here, m plus five equals nine, or m plus five equals negative nine. Now we solve. Let's start with m plus five equals nine. So we need to isolate that variable of m. We are adding five to m, so we need to undo that. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So let's subtract five from the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract five from the right side as well. Now on the left side, we are adding five and subtracting five. So these fives cancel each other out. M is now isolated. So M equals, and then on the right side, nine minus five, gives us four, so m equals four. Or let's solve m plus five equals negative nine now. So we need to isolate m. Let's subtract five 
from the left side. That means we need to subtract five from the right side as well. These fives cancel each other out. M is now isolated, so we have M equals, and then on the right side, negative nine minus five gives us negative 14. So M equals negative 14. And those are our two solutions. Let's check these solutions by plugging them in for M. So we will start with the absolute value of four plus five equals nine. And then we have the absolute value of negative 14 plus five equals nine. Let's start with the absolute value of four plus five. Well, four plus five gives us nine and the absolute value of nine is nine, so that is correct. And then as far as negative 14 plus five, that gives us negative nine. So we have the absolute value of negative nine, and that gives us nine as well. So we are correct. Those are our two solutions. Lastly, let's move on to number three. For number three, we have the absolute value of four X minus eight equals 24. Our absolute value is isolated, so now we need to write our two equations. So again, we have the absolute value of 4x minus 8 equals 24. That tells us that 4x minus 8 needs to equal 24 or negative 24. So let's write these equations here. 4x minus 8 equals 24 or 4x minus eight equals negative 24. And now we can solve. Let's start with 4x minus eight equals 24. We need to undo the subtraction first. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So add eight to the left side of the equation. That means we need to add eight to the right side as well. Now on the left side of the equation, these eights cancel each other out. So we have four X equals, and then on the right side, 24 plus eight gives us 32. Now we have four X equals 32. So four times X equals 32. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So divide the left side by four we need to divide the right side by four as well. On the left side, these fours cancel each other out. X is now isolated, so we have X equals, and then on the right side, 32 divided by four gives us eight. So X equals eight. Now let's solve four X minus eight equals negative 24. So let's add eight to the left side of the equation and the right side. These cancel each other out. So we have 4x equals, and then on the right, negative 24 plus eight gives us negative 16. So let's divide the left side by four now and the right side. These fours cancel each other out. So x is now isolated. We have x equals, and then negative 16 divided by four gives us negative four. So X equals negative four. So those are our two solutions. Let's plug those in to see if we are correct. Let's check those. So we have the absolute value of four times eight minus eight equals 24. And then we also have the absolute value of four times negative four minus eight equals 24. Let's start with the absolute value of four times eight minus eight. Four times eight is 32. So now we have the absolute value of 32 minus eight. 32 minus eight gives us 24. And the absolute value of 24 is 24. So we are correct there, x equals eight. Now let's do the absolute value of four times negative four minus eight. Four times negative four is negative 16. 
So we have the absolute value of negative 16 minus 8. That gives us negative 24. So we have the absolute value of negative 24, which is also 24. So we are correct there as well. X equals negative 4. So those are our two solutions. So there you have it. There's an intro to solving absolute value equations. Our next step is to take a look at absolute value equations with numbers and operations outside of the absolute value. So we will need to isolate the absolute value first. Check the description for a link to that video. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.